Hi everybody, I just wanted to take a moment before we get into this week's episode to dedicate it to all the people that were affected by the shooting in Orlando this past weekend. It still boggles my mind that this kind of thing is, is even possible and I just want to send infinite amounts of love and light and peace to all those that were affected closely. Uh, I know that the LGBT community as a whole has been very affected by this and we've it's really made it feel close to home that this is even possible. I think that we need to take this opportunity to celebrate the lives of the people that were lost in Orlando and how wonderful they were Actually, there's a really cool video that Anderson Cooper uh, had on CNN where he goes through all the people and talks about what kind of people they were and it really humanizes the whole thing. And, and you realize that this is not just a number, it's a lot of people, a lot of real people that were beautiful and loved and that's what I want us to celebrate so get out there and and go to pride and stand up and be proud of who you are um, this is not gonna stop us we are stronger than ever and we are gonna keep growing and keep spreading this infectious love and acceptance that the LGBT community is is known for love light and peace to Orlando I got this feeling inside my bones it goes electric wavy when I turn it on all through my city, all through my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in the zone I got that So, so gay. gay Little bit of JT, can't stop the feeling Oh, I hit, boom, hit, ball change, done Hi everybody, welcome back to Gay for Justin My weekly vlog on the Gay Men channel where I talk about anything I want to. As long as it's fun, fabulous, or fierce. That's the criteria. My name is Justin. I am the host of the Game Man channel, and uh, if you've never been to my channel, you've got a lot of catching up to do, but the exciting thing is, is that all the videos are just waiting for you to watch. That's all you gotta do, is you gotta go click on them. This week on Gay for Justin, I want to talk about one of my new favorite TV shows called The Real O'Neills. It is on ABC Family. It showcases the life of a Catholic family living in Chicago who all of a sudden deal with a lot of things going wrong. Um, and then they realize that all those things that went wrong are what make their family beautiful. So some of the things that happen in the first episode, spoiler alert, is that one of the, the middle child, his name's Kenny, he comes out as being gay. The oldest son, Jimmy, he sort of comes out as well as having an, an eating disorder, anorexia. The youngest daughter's name is Shannon, and she declares that she doesn't know how she feels about religion in general. Um, and then the parents are also getting a divorce. So you have this perfect nuclear family who all of a sudden are dealing with uh, a big old mess. I love this show because they take so many things that we're afraid to talk about sometimes and put it in this TV show. Um, the TV show is executively produced by Dan Savage. Dan is an amazing man in the LGBT um, community. He is a part of starting the Trevor Project, which is the It Gets Better videos. If you've never seen my It Gets Better video, you should check it out right up there. Um, and he also uh, has written some books. He has a sex column that he writes um, 
and he's he I think he still lives in Seattle so as soon as I found out that he was the executive producer of the show I realized that this is something that I'm absolutely going to love to see Kenny going through coming out in high school at a Catholic high school is so awesome to see on television and what's cool about the show is that it's a sitcom so it's short and it's really funny and at the same time I found myself crying in these episodes because they're showcasing some of these moments that are so important for other families to see. There's just a lot of heartfelt moments where you watch the mom and the dad um, learning to accept their son who is gay. I think a show like The Real O'Neills is so important because it opens up a conversation about these stereotypes around being gay. It's just so good for families out there to watch another family go through the coming out process on national television and to understand that there's no right way to do it it's just a learning experience the whole time I mean the mother in the show she clearly has a, a problem with her son being gay and it's a religious thing but it's also just a personal thing that she just never saw this being the way it was going to be and so all of a sudden after he comes out she's just like it's like no this can't be and it's watching them discover their relationship again and how she discovers how to accept her son no matter what that's why there's been times when I've literally cried in these episodes watching this special moment between the mother and the son or the, the son and the dad or the siblings and and the son. It's so interesting to watch that the parents are the ones that have the most issue with it. The dad not so much but the mom has the most issue with with Kenny being gay and the siblings they don't really care at all. Which I think is, a, is exactly where our society is right now, that parents are caring more than the kids themselves. Which is why I'm hoping that there's a lot of parents that are watching this show too with their kids um, when they tune in to, to ABC. Interesting side note, in the 90s, Ellen's sitcom was cancelled on ABC. Yes, cancelled when she came out as openly gay on the show. 20 years later, we're back on the same network that is now showcasing this culture and this family learning to accept each other for their differences and one of those differences in this case is Kenny being gay. It's one of those shows that's super important to the development and the dialogue of people understanding gay culture and understanding what it's really like to come out. I think anybody that is, is struggling with coming out should watch this show. Or anybody that has parents that are struggling with this should watch this show. It, it combines humor with something that's quite serious and important and the combination is just really powerful. Way to go ABC. I'm very impressed. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Like this video if you love the real O'Neills. Like this video if you have come out of the closet like Kenny did in, in the first episode. Subscribe to the channel. There's so many more things coming your way. There always is. I will see you next week. Have an amazing weekend. And y'all stay fabulous now. Because what else is there to do? Well, you could always watch another video. That's an option for you. Just click this box or that box and you can watch another one because that will be even better. Bye!